Top 10 Things Not To Do While On A Bike Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our latest content. 1. Standing in the middle of the trail One of the most sacred rules of trail etiquette is that if you stop for a mechanical, a chat, or some tea and biscuits, you should get off the trail as quickly as possible. This may not seem immediately obvious when you first start riding, but it becomes clear pretty quickly. Stopping in the middle of the trail not only puts you at risk of having to dodge a bike going however many go on short notice, it also puts other riders in serious danger of crashing. 2. Forgetting to properly maintain your bike The word forgetting typically means failing to remember to do something. But what forgetting really means in this context is deciding not to do something because you can't really be bothered. The unfortunate thing about bike maintenance, though, is that the less you spend on it, the more it's probably going to cost you in the long run. If you don't lose the chain, you'll have to put up with the noises it makes on the trail and need to replace it earlier than normal. If you don't pump up the tires before rides, you'll spend more time fixing punctures. If you don't clear the mud off your bike at the end of the ride, there are all kinds of negative repercussions. 3. Pushing the uphills This hell, sorry, hill, has been going on for what seems like forever, and you're only halfway to the top. Your legs are burning, sodded, there's nobody looking. You climb off and push the rest of the way up. Success. The only problem is that you're never going to seriously improve or get better at climbing that way. If you want to be able to ride the whole hill eventually, you've got to get a little further up at each time. 4. Forgetting to say hello. One of the nicest things about the mountain biking world is that everyone seems to be a bit more pleasant when they're in the great outdoors. Because of that, most people you pass will either say hello or give a wee wave or a nod as you cycle by. Some people, however, will. And we know this sounds like pure and utter madness. Ignore these waves or hellos and just cycle on by. Where are their manners? 5. Excessive skidding We talked earlier about how a lot of bad habits come as soon as you start riding and skidding is definitely one of them. When you're a kid, it's the best thing in the world. When you're an adult, it's, well, it's still a lot of fun. However, it's also the thing that tears up the trails that either your fine self or someone else has worked very hard to build, especially on a muddy day, so don't overdo it. Skidding can be a useful technique, but too much isn't a good sign. If you're struggling to keep in control, try focusing on finding the perfect spot between your front and rear brakes on the corners and not smashing the rear brake too hard. This hot spot will be different for each corner, of course, but the more you think of it, the better you'll get at cornering. 6. Crawling through turns We're not talking about getting off your bike here and physically crawling around berms, though if you are doing that, you should probably stop and seek help. What we mean here is that a lot of people have a bad habit of over-breaking in their turns. This is an easy way to raise your chances of crashing and lose all the momentum you had going into the corner. Break in the lead up to the turn so that you can go into it with a comfortable speed, flow through it, still braking lightly if you wish, and then flow out the other side. 7. Riding without a helmet This maybe isn't as much of a thing as it used to be. Most budding riders won't get on their rig without sticking a helmet on now, mostly because a helmet can make you feel a lot more secure in your riding, and if the worst comes to the worst, it could save your life. Not wearing a helmet is more common in beginners, though, perhaps because they're more likely to think of mountain biking as a commute without the cars rather than picture Nikolai Rogatkin's crash at Rampage in 2015. Eek! We've got our helmets on just thinking about it. Go out and go shopping for a helmet. You'll find that some fit you better than others, and some are pretty good-looking too. Buy one you like, and you'll want to wear it. 8. Not remembering a flat or your tools to fix it We're all agreed that getting a flat tire is pretty much the most frustrating thing in the world, right? Right. So the fact that not every mountain biker is in the habit of riding with the appropriate tools to fix one is pretty mad. At best, you'll end up waiting by the side of the trail for an extended period of time, getting lucky and nicking the appropriate tools from a better prepared rider. At worst, it's a long walk home. You learn this the hard way. Buy a spare inner tube, tire levers, and bike pump. Bring them places. Or if you don't use a bag, 
get a small puncture repair kit and at least take that instead. 9. Sitting down while going down. If you're going downhill on a mountain bike then eh, lucky you. And B. You should be standing up on your bike, particularly if you're going through a technical section on the trail. Sitting down in this situation is pretty much a surefire way to make sure you get booted off. 10. Never ride out of your comfort zone. It gets drilled into us on every press launch. Ride at your own pace and don't do anything you aren't comfortable with. The same goes for your Sunday ride with your mates. Go your own speed and at your own pace and the ride will be safer and more enjoyable. It's a good idea to pick some ground rules before you set off if you're going out with a group. Find someone who seems to ride at your pace and stick with them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to for more content. Hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thank you for watching.